Trump will cyclone Harold continues to intensify this morning. Third position, 15.4 degrees south, 165.9 degrees east. This is as of 4 p.m. in Vanuatu. The storm had winds of 125 miles an hour with a current pressure 947 millibars. Movement was southeast at 2 miles an hour. Current CDPS stage 6. This is mainly who looks to be a rainfall potential threat and a storm wind speed threat as well. Making it Monday, April 6th on uh, Port Villa is the potential closest pass, if not landfall area, as the storm could be making a really close pass there. Third distance of miles, we've gone to 119, Port Villa 277, New May on New Caledonia 525, Natty 803. See maximum today winds of 125 miles an hour, so force speed is going with. WC and uh, it grew that as well. ATT and Saki going just higher at winds of 126 miles an hour with the storm as you see. Let's see current uh, CDPS state 6 devastating. There's actually a red alert in effect for these islands as you can see as they are outlined in red. That means this is a life threatening situation. So if you have not been uh, making New York circle preparations, your time is just about up as this storm could be making its closest pass as of right now. Before it continues to move to the south, southeast, could make a potential landfall very soon on Port Villa. Looking at GFS Mall, as you can see, they have that. Uh, look at GFS calling for as well. So is the HWRF. So looking at the GFS, as you can see, have been doing a little loop around itself, or kind of a little jog, and it continues to move to the south and eventually it starts off. And uh, Fiji, you're not out of the uh, score of this one either. You could be getting some uh, some pretty gusty winds and some heavy rainfall as well. But this storm could track either more north or north, more south. It really depends on um, what is going to continue to steer the storm. As you see, it has that. You see this the pit of the weather. Or case you can see it really, really uh, getting dense and really intense right there as it just starts to slam into Port Villa and some of all the islands as well, which is not a good situation for these people right now. You see the current sea surface temperatures moving on. You see just around the storm, uh, actually, in some spots, it's still 30 degrees, 30 degrees Celsius, which would understand why it's been feeling the storm so well. But as it continues to move to the south, it uh, tempers off nicely from 29 uh, degrees Celsius to 28 degrees Celsius as the storm continues to move south. But the storm is moving at a pretty slow rate, two miles an hour. Its current intensity. Most of the models haven't, haven't already peaked at really 120 miles an hour. HWR is having a second repeat coming up very, very soon. This is the current wind shear, as you can see. Uh, it's uh, going to be Hawaii for now, but it's going to really decrease, and that's going to really go in the storm's favor. And that could uh, call for one some rapid intensification. Humidity and sea surface temperatures, um, sea, 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 like I said, are really, really good for the storm to sustain it. Humidity is going to be pretty good, and actually, for a good while before it starts to tamper off uh, a little bit. And that could inhibit the storm from an intensification as well. Uh, we see the track right now is pretty uh, cut off, but both of malls are in agreement of what the storms are going. Continue to go to the south and then make a turn to the southeast, making landfall not very close fast to Port Villa. So this is the current solid imagery. You see, as you can see, the eyes starting to rapidly clear out. Um, so you see some blobs of negative 9 degrees Celsius cloud tops have been uh, seen pretty recently with the storm as it continues to wrap around. As you can see, um, for the next probably 12 or uh, if not shorter than that, we could be seeing a fully fledged clear out eye as the storm continues. Now, if you're in these islands, you can be keeping a clear eye out as the storm is going to be making a very close pass of not landfall very, very soon. This, this concludes your update on Cyclone Herald. Make sure to tune in our next update in around six hours. Information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an Ultimate Fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force 13 slash join. With a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.